Bonjour to the morning as I, Rebbing RX, and welcome back to more Super Mario 64. Last time, we did a lot. We got, uh, a good number of stars, 18 to be exact. Uh, as you can see, I've reset because I no longer have all my lives. But now, we're gonna go into here. Plunder in the sunken ship. Welcome to Jolly Roger Bay. Come on. Read before diving in. If you stay underwater too long, you'll run out of oxygen. Return to the surface or air to find an air bubble or coins to breathe while underwater. Bega swim, hold Bega swim slow, Bega blah blah blah, dive, return, be swimming controls we swam last time. What's this? There are special caps in the red, green, and blue blocks. Step on the switches in the hidden courses to activate the cap blocks. So yes, this is another one of those cat blocks that we can't activate yet. Uh, this over here, I don't remember what this is. Uh, it's full of coins. Okay. So yeah, let's go take a look here. As I was saying, like I said, the power bar uh, is your life. And just going above the surface can heal you fully, whether it's normal damage or breathing damage. So we have to go look for a sunken ship, so my guess would be to go down would probably be the best. And we can talk about something weird about this stage. So there's a sunken ship here, but we can't really do anything with it. What you actually have to do is come up here. I don't know how far you actually have to go with this. But if we go up to the top, get our air back, and come back down. The eel's now swimming around and not in that hole anymore. In the DS version, they changed that where you can actually see the eel come out of the hole. But here is kind of random. And you go into here, and we want to... Oh, right, this. Okay, so there's four treasure chests down here. You need to hit them in the right order. That is not it. If you miss, they hurt you. I might die here. Apparently, I don't know the order at all. And I drowned Mario. Funnily enough, the order's the same time every time, so I just apparently don't know. But anytime you open one, you get an air bubble. So if I would've just opened the correct one at some point, I would've been fine. Um, but no, I, I went for the wrong one three times. And to activate, you literally just swim into it until it pops open. And once you open the final treasure chest, the ship starts coming back up, which I like to swim as far up as you can to try to avoid the platforming challenge because our star is right at the top. Can the eel come out to play? Which sounds like the exact same mission, honestly. Um, we have to basically go to the same place. Remember those coins. I'll have stories about those coins. We can see a star down there, but that's not what we're going for. We actually want to come to this eel. And we wait for the eel to come to play, and then... Oh, shoot. Uh, get to the surface so we don't die. We might still die. Okay. Oh, well, great. Now this is ten times harder. So now we have to touch the star on its butt. Oh, it goes back in? Really? I didn't know that. Go down. I am literally holding up. What are you doing? Come on. Oh, 
There we go. And then the star goes into its actual spot, which we can collect. Got a new high score of three coins in there. I forgot to copy my save file before this. Oh, hopefully won't bite me in the up. Treasure of the Ocean Cave. And guess what? We have to go to the exact same place again. Yay! So I have a confession. When I was thinking about those treasure chests before, I was actually thinking about this mission. And that's why I didn't know what I was doing, because the chests were not where I expected them to be. So we come into this. This is the Ocean Cave, which I... Oh, there's a sign here. Keep out. That means you are. Anyone entering this cave without permission will meet certain disaster. We've already seen a bit of that. Because if we keep going, there's these pillars that are going to try and fall on us. And then... Our holy matey, I have sunken treasure here, I do, but to pluck the plunder, you must open the treasure chest in the right order. What order is that, ye say? I'll never tell the cabin. I was thinking of these, because I know this one by heart. Ah, oh, I missed it. But yeah, not too bad. Red coins on the ship afloat. Here we are. Here we are. It's time for annoying red coin missions. Again, you'll find that every mission is either kind of difficult or very difficult, or each stage of has an easy 100 coins or a very difficult 100 coins. There's not really an in-between. Honestly, I guess maybe this is kind of an in-between. It's not too hard. The hard part comes that every time when I was a kid and would play this, I miss a certain ring of eight coins, which are necessary. Uh, oh, I don't want that. Which is necessary to actually get the hundred coins, because there's only like 106 coins in the entire stage or something like that. But yeah, these six coins here, remember they're there. It's what I think a lot of people will miss while playing this. Uh, these clams have red coins in them. My cat's screaming at the dogs. You can kind of see them draw in before the clams down here. red coins with that three that should be correct and now we have to get these which is very difficult to actually get them all oh when you swim in the middle of that you get a one up that's right i don't know where the one up just went but you get one. Oh, it's going this way okay i guess that makes sense i missed it i swear in the ds game they add a second ring like that of coins uh, this is a big part of it here. There are so many there. That's 30 coins. And then these Goombas, of course. Give one each. Uh, come on. Okay. There we go. Oops. Alright. I believe that's all the coins in here. I don't really want to go and check. So we will go down. I believe that is all the underwater coins we need. I believe everything else is going to be above water, and if not, I'm definitely missing a coin and going to have fun finding it. Oh, right here, actually. I think I need to get this red coin. Yeah, there we go. 
So we'll explore this side now. Let's see. What do you say? Climbing. Oh. Lots of the same tutorials. I guess it's because of the open nature of the game. I'll prepare the canyon for you. <coughs> so, yep, we go up here. There's one there, which apparently that jumps too high. Up to 70 coins. There's one there. This... And this part always bothered me as a kid, because I can never figure out how to stay on this. Like, the, the angle is not great here. Oh, look, a star. Ooh, boy, am I missing coins? I might be missing coins. Alright, and here's the coins on the ship afloat that it was talking about. The ship that we unsunk. I am missing coins. There's 96 of them. It might be down here. I feel like it is down here. Maybe not. Hmm. Oh, did I get those? Yeah, I got those. See, this is what I'm saying. I always, I always have issues in this one. I'm just gonna tell you, like, I hear a lot of praise about this world and this song. I don't like this world. Or this song. I swear I do like this game, though. Even if I keep complaining about it. So here's the cannon. more coins in this cave? That's the only place I could think of where it might be. Can you get out of my way? Thank you. I don't know where they'd be in here, but we can go check. Oh, there are. There's a ring of eight here. Okay. So yeah, 104 coins. So if you mess up those blue coins... There's nothing you can do about it. And you can't get it anymore. At least, even if uh, Bob on Battlefield's a little weird, at least it's not, like, cheap. I mean, I know I play Mario Sunshine already, and that's so much worse than this game, but still. Alright, so I'll meet you over at the Red Coin Star. Alright. Oh, shoot. With that, we have completed the red coins and the hundred coins of the Jolly Roger Bay. Get two more lives from that. And then we have Blast to the Stone Pillar, which you kind of saw me trying to do before looking for coins. Not a hard one. Line yourselves up with the pillar, go up, so you can grab onto the top, grab that, and then, get the star. Now I'll just say the next one's called like Mega Mario or Mega Head Mario can move. Uh, we cannot do that yet, kind of. But yes. So with that, we're going to end it off here, and next time we're going to go into another world. Um, one from one of these doors here. Au revoir.